Yeah, this is for the love, yeah. This is for the faith. This is for the obstacles, this is for the strength. This is for the memories made right here. This is for the good life, this is for my peers. Yeah. How you doing? This is Paul Glover, founder of Ithaca Hours. Started local currency in Ithaca, New York in 1991 because we wanted more control over money, wanted to bring uh, trading into a closer radius, wanted to strengthen local businesses, wanted to expand a sense of community. This effort was undertaken without waiting for government or Wall Street, neither of whom seemed to have our interest primary. Hey, aloha, I'm Joby Weeks from Breckenridge, Colorado. The purpose of this video is to share with you a solution to our current monetary system. Mountain Hours. Don't just say you want to end the Fed, do something about it. Join the Mountain Hours revolution. Alternative currencies, not the Federal Reserve, Ponzi, globalist, mafia currency that we all use. Hi, Tom Martino here. We're all excited about a new kind of currency that could take the country by storm, in my opinion. I love the concept. I'm looking at this thing. It looks like a giant dollar bill. And it says local currency. And it has, it, you know, it's kind of fancy looking. It's on a really durable paper, kind of like a um, FedEx envelope. You can't rip it. You can't tear it. And it says mountain hours. And up in the corner, it says one-tenth of an hour. Well, that's the denomination we have one tenth of an hour, which is the equivalent of one Federal Reserve note or one dollar. And a half hour is worth five bucks. A full hour is worth 10. And a two hour note is worth 20. So time is money. Well, all six billion people on planet Earth have the same 24 hours, the billionaire and the homeless guys. Hi, my name is Stephen Rockney. I'm the owner of the Dredge Restaurant. Uh, we're creating mountain hours here to be uh, distributed amongst businesses uh, to uh, get rid of the Federal Reserve. Some county currency. Have you seen it yet? Yes. There's about 40 businesses that take it around town. I'll try it. Cool. So the, I've heard the Breck it. note. The Breck note. That's worth ten dollars. It's got Breckenridge on the back. And that's a tip because I like you. Oh, thanks. Are there any realistic alternatives to the depreciating dollar? We'll examine these questions with Wayne Walton, a monetary reform advocate and creator of a local interest-free currency called Mountain Hours. Wayne, welcome to the program. There's a new sheriff in town. No banksters allowed in this county. We're not letting any foreclosures and victimless crimes take place here. Mountain Hours create sustainability and local abundance and prosperity. We are at Cool River Coffee Shop. Come on down, hang out. We're having a great time talking with Wayne, talking about Mountain Hours, and enjoying some delicious baked goods and some breakfast. Uh, thanks for covering Mountain Hours, and uh, Cool River is one of the great promoters of Mountain Hours local currency for Summit. Okay, you say local currency, so are we like trading uh, uh, pogs here? Are we trading uh, baseball cards? How does this exactly work? Well, there's roughly 100 businesses that are members of Mountain Hours. It's entirely free, just like barter is free. Uh -huh. And the way it works is any business that wants to participate, that's a local independent business, right. we give them uh, 20 hours, which is $200 to start. Oh, wow. And then that currency circulates among the local businesses and it keeps wealth local keeps wealth local, kind of supporting the local economy, as it were. Exactly. Keeping the money here in Summit County. Wow, and you're part of this. Ah, uh, you bet I am. I'm Great. a big supporter. I go to the dredge and trade out. They come over and visit me. <laughs> wow, so it's working out pretty well for you. I love it. Cool. Love it. Wow, mm -hmm. how do I get in on this? I want some mountain hours. Why not join? There's no, there's no risk. There's no cost. Let's uh, create a little... Wow. Let's uh, summit. Let's summit. Let's uh, go higher. Maybe. Yeah. The Maybe. whole barter system, back to old school, as sure. far as I'm concerned. That's how know? it used to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I know anyway. you can get a massage. My husband's involved in Mountain Hours also, and he's a massage therapist. It offers hope because it takes the money out of the corrupt and puts it back into the hands of the people. 
We're excited to get an update on Mountain Hours now from Wayne Walton, who founded Mountain Hours in Colorado based on the idea of Ithaca Hours, which is a well-established local monetary system in Ithaca, New York. Mile High Hours give me hope because it releases the leash. This is the Josh Tully Show. Let's start with the beginning. What is a mountain hour? Let's just start there. It's a currency created organically by the people because the people are the value. The money isn't something that's outside of us. Let's talk about your specific example. You're there in Summit County, Colorado, where you have a number of businesses that are participating in this hour currency program. It's your energy. That's life. It's free inside of me. That's right. People chasing money and lies. People act so funny at times. Mountain now is yo. Bringing debt free currency into the mountains. Like bring back, bring back, sit the cat out. It creates a community, it creates friends, uh, it creates truth and love. You refer to mountain hours as a form of organic currency. Can you explain to the viewers what you mean by that? So most people drive on petroleum-based fuel and pay with traditional dollars, but this is biofuel in exchange for mountain hours. So uh, I contributed the two one-half mountain hours, and you, uh, what have you got? I've, I've gladly accepted your mountain hours and uh, happy to provide you with some local fuel. Cool. Money from the people and fuel from the people. It's a great open loop for everybody. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Join the mountain hours! Join the Mountain Hours Revolution. Do it now! See local organic currency? I'm going to be able to spend it in the Denver area soon because it's exchangeable for mile high hours, which I'm very excited about because I'll be able to keep the money flow local to the community I live in. The Wandry Monks are amazing. Their lyrics are uplifting, full of love and abundance. They're love revolutionaries. They are... When I go to their shows, I mean, everyone is filled with the spirit spirit of love and abundance. I want my children and my grandchildren to live in abundance and health and love and this is the avenue to do it. We need to get this going all across our country for everyone. It's going to benefit every single person. Your host, Fred Smart. Brett, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, just out of the blue, I saw this this picture, which is not finished yet, but it looks like it's just incredibly beautiful. I've noticed now, just recently, with this, uh, my interest in the Mountain Hours usury free currency idea yep. with Wayne, that now that I'm talking to people about this and, and I, I'm starting to do new paintings to try and help people visualize the idea and what it could lead to, and that we have hope, I've noticed that I'm getting responses from people that I was scaring. To half to death several years ago with Alex Jones DVDs. Now it's time to start talking about some solutions, in my opinion. And we talk solutions to all of these problems going on. And so some of the things that the group has kind of switched from is switching from the, pe the fear paradigm of bringing things down, ending the Fed and such, to the love paradigm and creating and creating the solutions that we want to see instead of bringing down the things that we don't like. And so some of the things that we've started to do, uh, local organic community gardens. And uh, another solution that we have to the Fed and to the monetary side of it is creating your own local currency. Uh, our Wayne Walton created Mountain Hours to huge success in Breckenridge, Colorado. Uh, and Mountain Hours went so well that we've decided to start Mile High Hours. Mile High Hours down here is going really well as well. It's a local currency backed on time. And so whatever you personally know how to do, you can have your skill rewarded in local currency time hours instead of debt-based currency backed by, with interest by the Fed, funding wars, ugh, get away from that stuff and go local and go organic local currency. So that's another one of our solutions. And truly just being the change. Changing yourself is the main thing instead of just pushing, pushing, pushing all the, all the things that other people need to look into and other, pe other people need to do. We're changing ourselves so that we can lead by example. And Wayne is also a, a self-described, I, I guess, is, is, is this the correct pronunciation, Wayne? Jubilist? Yes. Jubilist, who believes that real revolution is monetary reform based on the jubilee and eliminating usury. 
Bill Still in the middle monitor here is a former newspaper editor and publisher. 20 books, including his latest No More National Debt. He's done three feature-length documentaries, including The Money Masters, one of the most watched films in Internet history, and The Secret of Oz, winner of the best documentary of 2010 at the Beloit International Film Festival. Mr. Still. Well, I found this very interesting in Breckenridge, Colorado. I uh, had only been marginally associated with... Uh, complementary currencies and it makes a big difference when you actually come to the place where it's being circulated and see that these colorful pieces of paper actually buy you something and the merchants that you're giving the colorful pieces of paper to uh, aren't begrudgingly giving you the services that they provide for those colorful pieces of paper so alternative uh, currencies do work and it may well be uh, the best way to immediately initiate some sort of monetary reform. Join the Mountain Hours Revolution! Jubilee is living in a usury-free society as it is supposed to be, as it was banned from religions for thousands of years. Um, Reba, interest, usury is all the same thing. It's theft. So to live in a society without usury is a jubilee. You live in abundance. It's a celebration. The word itself um, is synonymous with joy, abundance, dancing. Um, that's what God wants for us. He doesn't want us to live in this perpetual debt, this state, this prison planet. He wants us to live free. And a jubilee is a spiritual, it's a rebirth for humanity. It's a reset. That's what Mountain Hours and all the other local currencies across the United States is striving for. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, Jubilee. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, Jubilee. Jubilee, let it be. Jubilee, let it be. There will be an answer, Jubilee. And when all the broken-hearted people living in a world agree, there will be an answer, Jubilee. For though they may be parted, there is still a chance that they will see there will be an answer. Jubilee. Jubilee, let it be. Jubilee, let it be. Uh, we came down to Denver to see uh, Bill Still tonight, who received the uh, prestigious Winged Lion Usury Free Award. Well, when it comes to fixing mammon, Jesus said they'll forever be hearing without hearing and seeing without seeing or understanding. And all we have to do is accept each other's bonds denominated in time between countries and we've created the perfect new money to save our planet. So the back of the t-shirt reads, Mountain Hours are Summit County's new local currency which is issued interest free based on time. This is the organic solution of the globalist tyranny which has enslaved the world in impossible debt. Patriotic Americans of the Occupy and Tea Party movements have spoken. There's a problem. We have a solution which does not rely on another corrupt election or uh, more phony saviors. Free, responsible people must take action to be the change in the world. Interest-based money creation and lending are the problem. One cannot pay P plus I, principal plus interest, when only P exists. Summit County, Colorado has the solution. We will have more money, lending, and banking without interest. And in North America, if you ask 100 people what the word usury means, 99 of them will never have heard the word before. So the word has been buried because I guess it got too heavy and they changed it to the word interest. So, but two things I learned from old social credit people in Canada. One, they said, usury is theft. And number two, they said, ba money cannot have babies. Indeed, there was life without usury in the past. And there will be life without usury again in the not too distant future. With a focus on usury free time currency as the optimal currency to facilitate trades or exchanges locally, nationally, and internationally. This is the Jack Blood Show. The, the government is just the patsy for what the money power wants to do. Money power is an entity all of itself. $500 billion a year, that's our budget before we even start making a budget, is all interest. So we eliminate that by 
printing our own money. What's up? This is Adam from Rebel Inc. Join the Mountain Hours Revolution, brothers and sisters. Wayne, what are the advantages of local currencies? Well, the biggest advantage is that uh, whoever controls money is the sovereign. Whether it be a government or a private bank cabal, whoever issues the money is the sovereign. So what we want is for power to be returned to the people so that the people themselves issue the currency. This is your host, George Whitehurst Berry. The prime power that they need to take back is the power the, of the monetary uh, control. Whoever controls the monetary system is the government, and if the people intend to be in power, they need to create their own money. Because this is the future. This is what this is what it looks like when the people take the power back and they do something to create the reality that they want to see. So mile high hours give me hope. Do you hear me? This is the silver bullet to destroy the parasitic systems which have robbed us of our souls, which have robbed us of our will to resist. But I think it's time for for the republic for the republic to fight back right here right now You know that this is something that I've been intrigued by and want to start. How the hell does one, excuse me, does one go about starting this? Because I, make I, I am your student on this one because I will take this to the streets. Well I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. Red. 